Have you ever wondered how you could possibly demonize Syria and the DPRK at the same time? Well, we found out how. A panel of UN experts is accusing the DPRK of violating sanctions by selling weapons to Syria. Now, the uh, panel uh, was quoted by Reuters, and uh, this is an e excerpt from that. The DPRK in North Korea continues to actively to defy the measures in the UN sanctions resolutions. Although the sanctions have not caused the DPRK to halt its banned activities, they appear to have slowed them down and made illicit transactions significantly more difficult and expensive. Now, this uh, report will be handed over to the United Nations uh, Security Council, which more than likely will be vetoed by China, because previously uh, such reports have been vetoed by China, which is a very important ally of the DPRK. And many suspect that China will veto it because they're a major conduit through which many of these uh, so-called illegal transactions have actually been made. Uh, one of these past cases was described in, uh, in the same report. In April 2012, France reported to the committee that it had inspected and seized in November 2010 an illicit shipment of arms-related materials originating from the DPRK and destined for Syria. However, France's inspection of the cargo revealed that it contained brass discs and copper rods used to manufacture artillery munitions, uh, pellets and rods for crimping cartridges and driving bands, and aluminum alloy tubes used for making rockets. This incident was listed along one that had happened in 2007, and they're claiming these as, as an example of supposed continued violations of UN sanctions against the DPRK and Syria. However, they also did admit that there wasn't any actual real concrete proof of North Korea actually violating these UN sanctions. Now, this is where they practically admit that. Since May 2011, no attempts by the DPRK to import these have been reported to the committee or brought to the attention of the panel. It remains unclear whether this is because the DPRK has succeeded in doing so undetected or stockpiled these items before sanctions were introduced or is not, after all, trying to procure them. Essentially meaning they have no evidence whatsoever that the DPRK is actually violating any of these sanctions, which, to me... I would, I would hope that they actually are, because these sanctions should not be placed to begin with. Uh, the U.S. can sell whatever they want to whoever they want, and no one's allowed to say anything. They can sell weapons, munitions, anything to some of the most terrible regimes in the world, uh, particularly the Saudi Arabian royal family is one of these uh, great uh, transgressors on human rights. Also, the increased protests in Bahrain. In Bahrain, there's a terrible repression against the people, yet the United States continues to fund its military and support its government, despite its uh, claim of support for the Arab Spring and resistance against corrupt regimes in the Middle East. It's just more proof of the hypocrisy of the U.S. and NATO positions, giving out weapons to some of the most terrible regimes in the world, while suppressing any regime that's... Uh, Somewhat, pro somewhat progressive or at least anti-imperialist. This just shows that tremendous hypocrisy they have towards human rights. That other that they are allowed to give weapons to their allies, but nobody else is allowed to have any weapons.